Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I will be reviewing the 10 pieces of Miss Bella brushes na nabili ko nung Lazada 1212 sale. By the way guys, nabili ko tong set na ito. Uh, 10 pieces na brushes with free uh, travel pouch for only 800 pesos. But if you will purchase this separately guys on a regular price, yung 10 pieces brushes will cost you 800 pesos while this travel pouch is 600 pesos. So, sumatotal mga 1,400 pesos yung mababayaran nyo. So, luckily na timingan ko din na nag-sale sila nung 12-12 and nabili ko siya ng 800 pesos free na yung travel pouch. So, yun guys, nakita nyo naman uh, medyo may stain na yung ating brushes kasi na nakapag ano na tayo, demo na tayo kanina. Before ko ipakita yung demo ko kanina, sabihin ko lang yung mga pangalan ng mga brushes. So, for the first brush is itong Miss Bella na blush brush. While this one is yung dual-ended angle brush, this bigger na angle brush, guys, is good for contour. While the other side, yung uh, small angle brush is best for contouring our nose. So, for contouring tong dual-ended na brush. While this one is the highlighter brush. Ito yung itsura niya, guys. Then, next one is yung kanilang foundation brush. Then, next one is yung five pieces. Ay, by the way, guys, ito rin pala yung kanilang powder brush. Now, let's proceed sa kanilang uh, limang brushes for the eyes and for concealing. So, first brush is itong uh, angled eye brush. Next is itong ginamit ko as a concealer brush kasi I don't think magagamit ko siya as a eye makeup br brush. So, ginamit ko na lang siya as a concealer brush. Then, next one is the dual-ended na eyebrow brush, brush and spoolie. Then, the next one is itong blending brush nila. And lastly is itong smudger brush. So, guys, itong 10 pieces na brushes is synthetic brush at ah, hindi ko lang sure kasi hindi nakasulat doon sa description nila sa Lazada. Actually, yung bibilin ko sana is yung pink. Pink siya dito sa may handle na part while dito naman rose gold. Na out of stock siya agad guys. Natulog kasi ako. Na, so, nagising ako ng mga 2am. So, out of stock agad yung uh, nag-sale nila na pink. So, I go for the white one na lang kasi Okay lang din naman kasi pink naman yung lalagyan. Alam nyo naman guys, uh, sobrang hili ko sa mga pink colors, mga rose gold colors. So yun guys, uh, medyo prone lang talaga to sa stain. Itong puti na, tingnan nyo naman guys, o oh, ayan. Puti siya guys, so prone siya sa mga stain, sa mga makeup products. So yun lang ang uh, downside dito sa puti na 10 pieces face brushes ng Miss Bella. If given the chance guys na meron pa talagang pink, I will go for the pink one talaga kasi ayoko nung white kasi nakapag-review na ako guys and actually ginagamit ko pa rin until now yung white ko na 10 pieces kabuki brushes na binili ko sa Shopee which was my first um, beginners na face brushes. Nabili ko siya nung December 2017 and di-review ko siya guys and uh, ipa-flash ko na lang sa eye button if interested pa kayo kasi yun yung first na uh, brushes, uh, makeup brushes review ko and demo. Ginagamit ko pa rin siya until now and I'm glad guys na until now okay pa naman yung 150 pesos worth na 10 pieces brushes. So yun guys, I have high hopes 10 pieces brushes ng Miss Bella kasi medyo pricey siya kasi nga branded. I hope na maglalas itong mga brushes sa akin. So yun guys, without further hanash, let's start with the demo of these 10 pieces brushes ng Miss Bella. So guys, let's start. First brush na ating gagamitin is itong Miss Bella na foundation brush. It is a flat kabuki brush guys na magagamit natin for blending our foundation. I will be using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. So here's the right side of my face guys after applying my foundation using this Miss Bella foundation brush and I could say na nagawa naman niya yung function niya, na blend naman niya ng maayos yung ating foundation and wala akong nakikitang streaks sa aking face so that's a good observation so now guys let's proceed with the other side of my face. So yan guys, tapos ko nang na-blend yung ating foundation sa ating whole face and I could say na 
maganda talaga yung foundation brush guys and wala akong masabing bad about this one so let's proceed with the other brushes so next guys we will be applying our concealer and the concealer that i will be using is itong l'oreal paris infallible full wear the shade vanilla lagyan lang natin ng konti yung ating under eyes and let us highlight then yung mga uh, highest points ng ating face If you haven't uh, seen my review about this concealer, I'll flash ko lang dito sa my eye button. If interested lang naman kayo. So for my concealer, I will be using this brush. I think guys na magagamit ko to for um, eye makeup kasi yung bristles niya is very stiff. I think ito yung perfect brush para sa pagblend ng concealer. So I will be using this one to blend my concealer. So yan guys, na blend natin yung ating concealer. Next, we will be using this powder brush. And as I can feel the brush guys, super soft talaga guys. I think fluffy enough naman siya para makapag-apply ng powder. Guys, ang gagamitin natin for our powder is of course yung isa sa mga favorite ko din. Ang niche do, itong final, po, final, final powder nila na creamy glow. So we will just apply it all over our face and hindi tayo magbibay kasi... Nagbiribit tayo ng uh, brushes so hindi ko naman gustong matagalan yung panonood nyo. Kasi gusto lang naman natin makita kung maganda ba talaga ang uh, mga brushes ng Miss Bella. So yun guys, isa-set ko lang yung aking face using this brush. So far guys, ang ganda ng brush guys. Fluffy na siya enough para makapag-blend ng powder. As you can see guys, walang kahirap-hirap sa pag-apply ng powder. And I think this is also one of my favorite sa whole set ng kanilang brushes or 10 pieces brushes. Kasi ang smooth talaga niya guys. Ah, napaka gentle talaga sa face nitong powder brush na ito. Now guys, after our powder, unahin muna natin yung contour guys. And we will be using this EB Advanced Blush Duo in the shade Rosy Cheek. And I will just apply this uh, bronzer guys. Wala ko ng konting amount. And then by the way guys, ito pala yung dual sa face brushes nila, dual ended na angled brush. Ito ang kabilang side na angled brush is perfect para sa pag-contour ng nose. So yun guys, contour muna natin yung ating face. Guys, ang smooth talaga ng brushes ay as in, if mafeel nyo lang sa face nyo, I think pati kayo, masasabi nyo talagang uh, napaka-smooth talaga niya sa face. Hopefully, mag-last sa akin itong kanilang brushes. So, I'm done with contouring the right side of my face, guys. And as you can see, well blended naman yung ating uh, contour. Let's proceed to the other side of my face. Now, guys, we're done with our contour. Next, we will be applying our blush. And yung blush na gagamitin ko is dito pa rin sa palette ko ng Rosy Cheeks. And I will be using their blush brush. Ito yun guys. And super soft din yan. So we will just apply the blush doon sa ibabaw ng ating contour. So depende na yan sa inyo guys kung ano yung bet nyo na pag-apply ng blush. But ako, kapag nagbablush ako, pag ganyan, yung parang papuntang drunk blush pa rin kasi mas fresh ang tingnan. And yung alam mo yun, hindi masyadong parang parang sinampal ka na nasa nasa pisngi mo lahat yung blush or yung blusher or ah, basta yung blush guys so, ganyan ako mag blush so depende na rin sa inyo guys iba iba naman tayo ng technique so yan guys tapos na tayong mag contour and mag blush and by the way guys babalikan ko lang yung isang side ng angle brush di contouring pala yung aking nose so balik lang tayo dito sa contour na ginamit natin sa pag contour ng ating face So 
so far guys, pag nagkukuntur tayo ng nose, di ba pa ganyan? So, perfect na perfect yung pagka-angle nitong brush na ito para sa ating nose kasi parang nasa sakop talaga niya yung curves ng ating nose. So now guys, let's proceed with our highlighter. Highlighter na gagam gagamitin natin of course is powder kasi they have this fluffy na highlighter brush. Okay guys, uh, nalaman ko na meron pala tayong dalawang klaseng highlighter brush. Yung isa yung fan type and yung isa is ito. Uh, same din sila ng brush nung kay Michelle D na uh, face brush. And ito din ang kanyang highlighter brush. Hindi yung the usual na fan brush. So, first time kong matatry yung ganitong brush guys for a highlighter. So, let's see if mag-work nga siya. So, pag nag-highlighter tayo guys, dapat dito lang sa ibabaw lang ng ating um, blush. So, contour. Next is blush. Then, highlighter on top. Yan guys. Pak. Parang mas ano, mas kitang-kita agad yung uh, highlighter pag ito ang ginagamit. While yung fan brush, nakagamit ako ng fan brush before, I think mas disperse yung highlighter pag yun ang gamit. But ito, kung gusto nyo talaga yung glow out talaga, gusto nyo talagang kitang-kita yung highlighter nyo, you can use this type of brush. Dito naman tayo sa kabila. Tingnan nyo guys ha. O, oh, ba Isang glide pa lang. Kitang-kita na agad yung ating highlighter. So, yung mga Uh, gusto gustong mag-highlighter. Kung gusto niya talaga yung talagang highlighter sa highlighter. This brush, perfect talaga ito para kitang nag-glow yung face nyo. Kasi hindi ako masyadong nag-highlighter. Okay na sa akin yung fan brush kasi medyo may konting glow lang yung gusto ko. Kasi all know naman guys, meron akong oily skin. So hindi ako masyadong nag-highlighter kasi mas na-accentuate niya yung oily na sa aking face. Tumagal na yung highlighter sa ating face and naghalo na yung oil plus yung highlighter. Hindi siya iaayang tingnan guys. Except na lang kung ah, maganda talaga yung base na ginamit mo na nakukontrol talaga yung oil sa face. Okay, so far... Medyo hindi ko bet shadow yung highlighter. Pero kung siguro kung may magandang base na hindi talaga ako mag-oil up. And gusto kong naroon ng glow up kind of look. I think perfect itong brush na ito. So yan guys, tapos na tayo sa ating contour, blush, and highlighter. Now let's proceed sa ating eyebrows. So I will be using yung aking tinted brow gel from Says Lady. And I have a review of this din guys last year. So watch nyo na lang. I will flash it here sa aking eye button. Gamitin na lang natin itong brow gel para sa ating brows. And hopefully, mag-blend siya ng maayos guys. Kasi I think hindi masyadong dense yung kanilang eyebrow brush. Hopefully, woo. Ayan guys, nakikita nyo naman. Actually, ang bilis ngang gamitin nitong brush na to. Kaysa nung free, yung free na brush ng Sace Lady, medyo stiff yun. So, mas maganda pala itong ganitong klaseng brush, guys, para sa ating uh, brow product. So, I will just use the um, uli sa other side. Lalagyan ko lang ng konti yung sa may lower part ng tail ng ating, yan, sa ating brows para mas malinis siyang tingnan. Yan, guys, tip din yan. Kung gusto nyo yung plakadong-plakadong um, eyebrow, if mag-attend kayo ng occasion or event, uh, lagyan nyo lang ng concealer yung yung tail part para mas malinis siyang tingnan. So, yan guys. Ganyan yung ano, resulta niya using the concealer brush and yung ating dual-ended na brow brush and yung kanilang spoolies. Let's proceed to the other side. So yan guys, we're done with our brows. Now let's proceed with our eye makeup which is I'm so excited. Now guys, for our eye makeup, we only have 3 brushes left na hindi ko pa nagagamit. So I will be using my EB Pro Total Effects na eyeshadow palette para sa ating eyeshadow and we will do a very simple lang na eye makeup. So first uh, shade na gagamitin ko is ito and I will just apply it all over my lids. Then guys, next is I will be using this shade. I will be using this gold eye brush. And I will just apply it dito sa my outer V ng ating mata. I think guys, yung pagka-angle niya is perfect na perfect para sa yung paglagay ng eyeshadow sa my outer third. And then guys, we will just use yung ating blending brush to blend the two eyeshadows that, that we've used guys. So, blend lang natin siya para mas match out and... Medyo may smoky effect.
So far guys, yung tatlong brushes is workable naman. Now guys, I will be using a glittery na shade and yung gagamitin natin is ito. Na ito, nasa pink metallic siya or rosy pink. I will be using yung other side ng ating smudge brush. Supply it dito guys, sa may center of our lids. Uh, going inwards. Actually guys, hindi, hindi ko alam kung anong eye makeup yung gagawin ko. In pronto lang talaga to guys. Balik lang tayo ng konti dito sa second eye shadow na ginamit natin sa outer V kanina. Apply it again dito sa my outer V. Sa outer V, going inwards. Um, I-extend yun ng konti sa my upper part ng folds ng inyong crease para makita pa rin yung eye shadow. Yan guys. And then, balik tayo doon sa kinuha natin ating eye shadow earlier. So, ibiblend lang natin yung mga kulay. Using this smudge... Ah, may buho. So, using this smudge brush, kukuha din tayo ulit nito second eye shadow na ginamit natin. So, very simple lang talaga ito na eye makeup guys kasi tatlong colors lang yung ginamit natin. I will just apply a little bit dito sa low, 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 lower lash line. And, smudge lang natin ng konti using blending brush. Kuha lang ako ng konti nitong, konti nitong cream na glittery color. And lagyan na natin ng konti dito sa my tear duct. Going inwards. Muta effect. <laughs> yung sinasabi nilang muta effect. <laughs> so yan guys, ito yung eye makeup na pwede natin gawin using these three brushes. Workable naman siya for beginners. Pero if you are a professional makeup artist, I think this is, this is not enough para sa mga makeup looks kasi yung mga professional you know naman marami na silang ginagamit na brushes so yun guys so I will just uh, do the other eyes and I'll be right back. so yun guys we're done with our makeup look using the 10 pieces brushes ng Miss Bella so let's start with our final verdict ang mga favorites ko is almost lahat naman except lang dito sa number 1 yung ating highlighter brush hindi ko kasi masyadong bet yung super plakado na highlighter sa mukha kasi nga oily face tayo so I prefer yung mga fun brush hindi naman totally disappointing itong brush na ito pero hindi ko lang siya talagang magagamit so yun guys uh, hindi ko masyadong bet to and I think the other brush na hindi ko masyadong nagustuhan is itong concealer brush. Although, nagbe-blend siya at first, pero hindi talagang totally blend yung concealer when you blend it. Uh, I've seen earlier, ginamit ko siya, pero blend out ko pa siya using nung kanilang foundation brush. And so far guys, out of the 10 brushes, yung dalawa lang ang medyo hindi ko magagamit. The rest, I will surely use it kasi napaka-dense, napaka-ganda ng mga brushes na ito guys and super smooth niya sa face. Hopefully, mag maglalas itong mga brushes na ito kasi medyo pricey din siya for 10 pieces brush na regular price is 800 pesos. Medyo pricey na siya guys and this is my first time to have a branded talaga ng mga brushes so hopefully maglalas siya tulad nung nabili ko nung 2017 na Shopee brushes na nagamit ko pa din until now na 150 pesos lang guys and you have almost everything para sa uh, basic na makeup. Okay, so, if I will rate this 10 pieces brushes ng Miss Bella, I will rate it 8 out of 10. Uh, kasi nagustuhan ko yung brushes nila. Napaka smooth, napaka gandang i-apply sa skin. Hindi siya harsh. So, yun guys. Pero guys, medyo namahalan pa rin ako kasi first time ko nga makabili ng branded talaga na brushes. So, suggest guys if you will buy this brushes, antayin nyo na lang na mag-sale. Kung saan mabibili nyo siya with this travel pouch. I think this is not worth it na 600 pesos kasi napaka simple lang ng lalagyan. Sa pouch or makeup a pouch na 600 pesos na mamahalan talaga ako guys. So, inantay ko talaga na mag-sale siya, na maging free na lang siya. So, yun lang guys for my Sbella 10 Pieces Brushes Review. I hope nagustuhan nyo itong video na to. Don't forget to like this video if you did and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet so you will be updated sa aking mga future na uploads. So, yun lang guys. See you on my next video. Bye!